Ho 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 everybody, this is your favorite elderly grandpa of the Character Workshop YouTube channel, Gordon. Unless, uh, some of you seem to like Grandpa Angry Bird from Angry Birds Mania more than me, but anyways. So, this hat's a little too big on me, thanks. Um, so, I decided today to tell you youngsters one of my favorite Christmas stories that I've had, you know, when I was a little kid. I don't know why I stuttered there. Anyways, so, this was way back in the 30s, and, uh, yes, the 30s were quite a different time period for a variety of reasons. So, for some reason, I don't know if they still do this, but, uh, the movie theater was open on Christmas Day for some reason, and, uh, my grandmother got tickets to a movie that she thought was a family-friendly movie, but... Ended up being something extremely different. Now some of you are wondering, Oh, wait a minute, it, didn't the, in the, back in the 30s they had like movies that, you know, weren't supposed to show you, you know, inappropriate stuff? Well, we somehow managed to see a movie that was quite contrary to that. So, we, after we opened our presents and ate our, uh, well, actually, no, we had the dinner afterwards, but after we opened the presents, we all took our jalopies to the movie theater, and we paid, uh, what was it, like 10 cents each for the movie? So, we saw it, and what was the title of the movie, you may ask? Well, it was basically, um, it was an early adaptation of, um, The Fox and the Hound, and no, not the one that, uh, Disney has, um, made in the 80s, but no, this is a different fox and hound, and my grandma, who saw the title, and saw the poster, the poster was pretty innocent looking, she was like, oh, you know, this will be a good movie to watch for the youngsters, and, yes, boy, was she wrong, <laughs> uh, oh my god, I, I can't even, like, explain to you some of the stuff I saw in that movie, um, because <laughs> I'll probably get, uh, yeeted off of YouTube, what does yeet mean? I don't know, but, yeah, um, I was quite scarred after seeing that movie, um, but, I know a lot of people have said, like, you know, what is it, like, the furry community didn't start becoming relevant until, like, the 70s and the 80s, boy, you have not seen that 30s movie that I saw, my hat keeps screwing up, I also wouldn't be surprised if there were, like, people in the 30s that, somehow got an interest in, uh, you know, animals after that. Hopefully not that kind of interest. Ugh. Anyways. Yeah, if you couldn't tell from my descriptions, it was a... It was a very inappropriate movie. And my grandma, she had a heart attack, and... Sadly, she couldn't, uh... Have Christmas dinner with us. I miss you, grandma. Anyways. Um... That's all I really gotta say, um, uh, do you guys have any interesting Christmas stories yourself? Um, hopefully they're not as weird as mine, hopefully not, but, uh, if you have any, like, non-weird, interesting Christmas stories, uh, feel free to let me know. I'm very curious to see what you guys have as a weird, um, interesting Christmas event. I think that's about it, um, hopefully you guys have a Merry Christmas, and, uh, yeah, um, I don't have anything else to say. Let me get this hat off. Oh, that was too big on me. Anyways, I'm gonna go lay down.